Last game we played as the Stormers was at Loftus. And our first game we played in this province is at Loftus. Uh, looking forward to getting back there so soon. Yeah, it's always, you know, Loftus is always a tough place to play. But um, yeah, we've, we've come close, I think, three times now. Um, yeah, we are looking forward to getting back and see if we can come back with a uh, victory. Cool. And uh, obviously, it's a quick turnaround between, I mean, we didn't have a match last Saturday, but it's still a quick turnaround between campaigns. Um, how have the preparation so far been this week? Uh, and obviously, there's a lot of guys, you know, we've got, it's spring box up. We've got a couple of guys in the baby box squad. So there's going to be some guys who get some opportunities this season. Uh, what's the spirit like and the excitement uh, in the camp around that? Yeah, look, Mikey, I think it's, it's about 28 players who are not available to play this game. So it will be a very good test um, on our depth to see how good our depth is. So there will be some new players that are, will be getting rewarded from Boston Cup. Um, yeah, it's been a, a nice sort of training week because we're just sort of restarting again, starting from scratch. So the new guys are getting to know the systems. Some guys have been training and not playing much. Guys like CK, uh, Lee Marvin and all those guys. So they might probably get an opportunity this week. Uh, Storm is in the, just to finish on the Rainbow Cup, quite impressive away from home. We won, won two games away from home and then kind of sort of won the last one. Uh, we start with two away games. Is that almost like a, a blessing in a way, and that we're on tour up in the high faults uh, next week, and and we can hopefully continue that momentum. Yeah, look, Mikey, we uh, as you know, our big focus is just to improve. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? We, we're looking to improve week in, week out, uh, and with our youngsters coming in now, we, we want to do the same. So, regardless of whether we're playing home or away, you know, there's certain KPIs that we want to tick. Uh, and reach so that that will be what we're looking at this weekend. Cool, Ali, uh, most experienced player in the squad, sixty nine caps. Um, how does that feel? Do you feel like uh, one of the umana? And uh, are you looking forward to the campaign? I'm looking forward to the campaign. Obviously, uh, it's going to be a lot of depth and challenges. Uh, some of the young guys being tested. So some of our senior guys. Like me and some other guys are going to have to step up and set the standards for the competition. Can you remember the first time you came into a Western Province squad? Uh, 20, what, 2011? I think it was 2011, yeah. But I made my debut in 2014, but it was an uh, unbelievable experience. Okay, so that's that's now a while ago. So how are you finding with the, with the young guys coming in? They're obviously keen. They want to make an impression. Are they coming hard at you in training? No, they, they, they're coming hard at us. But we uh, make it comfortable for them to, to, to fit into the system. So they, they, they're quite comfortable with the guys. And uh, just in terms of working with, with the coaching staff, obviously you've been around for ages, but you know these guys well. Um, now transitioning from Stormers into the Blue and White Hoops. Everyone knows you well in the Blue and White Hoops. So are you looking forward to the campaign from that point? Yeah, no, we're looking forward to the campaign. Uh, I think we performed quite, quite well in the last tournament, so we're looking to take that uh, momentum forward uh, in this competition. Cool. All right, guys, we turn it to you. You've got questions for these two. All right, Coach. Um, Carl Fabian from Ragas. The Bulls has now got the 28 players uh, going to Treviso also without the spring, spring box. Will you be lured into a relaxed mode, giving... Uh, players' chance, or will you go to Pretoria with your best team and give them a good hiding? Yeah, Carl, like I said, it's always tough to play at Loftus. And looking at their situation and our situation, the only difference is that we're not going to um, Italy, but we do have about 28 players who are not available, whether it be to Springboks, call-up, injuries um, and, you know, maybe a little bit of um, illness. So we'll never go there relaxed, you know. So like I said, it's going to be a good uh, test for our depth. We'll never go relaxed. We, we want to go and compete. We want to go and win. So whoever will be getting a chance is because they deserve it. And it's to further develop our younger players. So it's not that we're looking to give... Um, easy opportunities. We want to go there and win. We want to go there and compete.
Rita, uh, Stephen, yeah. Um, hi, Ali, I hope you're well. Um, Rita, how tough has it been for you to prepare for this game, uh, in particularly in the set phases? I suppose in the lineouts also must be, uh, it can't be easy to, to put the organizational structures in, in place for this game. So how has it been going? Yeah, look, Stephen, uh, firstly, it's very nice to hear your voice. You know, I thought we, for a while, I thought we had Michael DeFries press conference. He was asking all the questions. But um, I must say, it is a bit of a challenge, Stephen. I mean, if if you look at it log-wise, you know, we could easily have someone, Murat, uh, J.D. Schickling, Marvin Ori has been called up to the Springboks. So from a log point of view, big challenge, um, but it's also a good test for our coaching abilities and, and, and our depth and our players coming up. Um, if you look at the hooking position, you know, we've got uh, Bongi, who's now at the box. Skara has moved to the box. Andre Hihu, our third choice, is currently with uh, the baby box. We've got Chet Solomon, who's also injured. So it, it has been a challenge, you know, but it's sort of part of the game. We have to adapt. And we've got good talent here in the Western Cape, you know, so we, we've, we've been working really hard to make sure that by come Saturday, we, we are, we've got good uh, systems in place again. And, and the players are used to um, the systems that we have, especially the new boys. Out of interest, who are your fifth and sixth choice hookers? Please say that again. Just out of interest, who are your number five and six hookers, or didn't you know until this Luke. week? Yeah, look, Stephen, you know, if I tell you, you might not know their names. You know, John Smith, uh, Jabulani Kodekulu, you know, it's uh, it's guys that are not known. No, I'm kidding. It's JJ from Martis. He's played really well. And um, there's Jason Alexander, who's done well for UWC. Um, we've also been sort of playing around with, you know, Sazi, who's played uh, hooker in high school. He's been training there, throwing a bit, just to make sure we, we cover. You know, we've got two games back to back. So we, we, we've been working hard on, on those three guys. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we have at this stage. And, and I'm sure the youngsters, these three guys, will, will step, up to, step up to the plate come Saturday and Wednesday. Rita, if I look now at a couple of games now um, at the Bulls, one can look at, um, you know, what might have been in the final seconds. I, I guess um, the try in this last game um, is, is a matter of, well, I wouldn't say great controversy because you guys haven't gone public with it, the last minute try, but... Uh, um, but then also, you know, there was the incident um, you know, where Toki lost the ball. So it's almost like just that last minute, it's just not happening for you guys. Um, is there anything, could there be anything psychological about that or not at all? Um, and, and is this a, a, just a good opportunity? Is it, is it important for you guys to win at Loftus? Yeah, look, uh, Stephen, we, we always come back and look at the things that we did well and the things that, you know, we could have done better. And we always come up with a lot of things. Look, to have been in that situation, this could have been avoided. We could have scored a try here. We left four tries on the table. So in terms of our processes and how we want to improve, there's always things where which we think we could have um, improved on. And there's certain things that we did well. Um, that's that's a key thing. Like I said to Mikey earlier, we want to improve consistently. Um, not necessarily a psychological, uh, you know, challenge for us, but, you know, just making the right decisions, game decisions on the day. You know, we end up in this situation because somewhere along the way we missed other opportunities. And to answer your second question, yeah, just like any other game, we want to be able to win against the Bulls, the Sharks, and the Lions. So, so it's, you know, it's, we want to be com competitive at all times. If we are, if that, hopefully that answers your question. And you, you what um, the coaches would call that uh, 
lovely Afrikaans word, an Easter. Um, you're always, always there for the team and always set a standard. Um, for you as a, as, as a senior player, um, how important is it to, to step up this weekend? Nah, like you said, it's going to be important for me to step up this weekend, especially with the front rows. It went to the box like Steve and Bongi and Franz. But uh, luckily, we got me and Yetlin here. It's, I think Yetlin has been playing well this past season. And uh, we're going to have to set the standards there up front for, for, for most of the young guys. Um, Rito, sorry, I, 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 you can hear my voice. <laughs> you're, just, you're so complimentary about hearing Stephen's voice. I thought you'd better just hear mine as well. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you, you, I, I, I arrived a bit late, so I'm not sure if you spoke about the fact that the Bulls are, are you know, they're not really, you don't really know what you're up against this weekend. I mean, they, the, I mean the bulk of them are obviously in Italy. Um, how are you sort of like, how are you dealing with this game? I mean, you normally go to Loftus as sort of underdogs and, well, just recently you have. Um, you must be sort of, um, it must be sort of like quite a weird experience because you're going up there to play an unknown quantity and, and you would sort of be expected to win, I suppose, at this time. Yeah, look, um, Kevin, like I said earlier to Stephen, it's, it is, I mean, we all are where the Bulls are in Italy, but, you know, if you look at our squad, we're also sitting with 28 players who are not available, whether it's being to Springboks, injury and, and, uh, and Ill, illness along the way. So uh, it, it is going to be a test uh, for our depth, both, both teams. Um, we, we're taking this game seriously, and I'm sure they, they are. Uh, and in our squad, like I said earlier, we, we're giving good opportunities to some players who played Vasti Cup, uh, guys that performed really well. And, and some of our youngsters will, will, will get a good run this week. But... Um, um, I still feel like you know we're underdogs. Uh, we we not we haven't won there in a while, so it, it's still going to be a challenge for us. I mean, they they have the Vasti Cup champions. They they might be able to tap into that. There's very good players. Um, <clears throat> David Kutza, the fly half, you know, and Thomas, um, the eighth man who played lock for um, Turkey. So they they've got a very good squad as well. So it, it will still be, you know, a strong challenge for us. Actually, it would be, it would be I suppose it would be a very good experience for, for young guys playing their first time to be going to Loftus because Loftus is still Loftus regardless of... And the, and the Blue Bulls, I suppose, will be wearing the Blue Bulls kit. So, you know, that, that's, that's a good experience for them. Absolutely, uh, Gavin. I mean, for, for some guys, it will still be their first Curry Cup cap. It will be a Curry Cup cap, you know... 10, 15 years from now, they'll remember 2021 is when I played my first Curry Cup game. So it's still very important. You know, it, it, it'll be a nice story for them to tell someone later, look, my first Curry Cup game was at Loftus against the Bulls, you know. So it's it, it's a big game, you, you know, even though we're probably not with our strongest or best players, it's still a good game, which, you know, some players will remember for the rest of their lives. And and with with the what's what's it called now the United Cup or whatever it's called the the Pro 16 later in the year, um, you know I've been following that competition for a couple of years now, and like there's a lot of it that's played at under strength, and you know if you have injuries you have to go really deep into your resources, so I mean obviously from that point of view as well, as much game time as as many people as as possible you give game time to at this stage of the year probably the better. Yeah. No, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll get returns in future for, for blooding in our youngsters and guys that haven't played a lot. Our the training players have started training. You, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's part of maybe, if I may say, good planning to anticipate you playing with um, your second, third string side. So they, they need to start understanding the systems nice and early so that, you know, when you get deep into the United Cup, they can slot in comfortably. Ali, yes. whenever uh, Dobbo mentions your name, he he never fails to mention that he considers you one of the most underrated uh, props in South Africa, and he's just got such massive appreciation for you. Um, what is it still left for you? What do you still want to achieve in your um, in your province career? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's it's an honor every time I put the jersey on my head, and uh, just a privilege to represent the blue and white hoops every time. I mean, I've been unlucky the past two seasons with injuries, and uh, I've played like three games and got injured with, with a big injury. Uh, but I managed, luckily, I managed to come back from that injury. So I feel that I still have a lot of rugby left to play. Rita, you mentioned the Salman earlier. When when can we expect to see uh, Salman back? Um, I think Stephen will, will have a better idea. Uh, sometime next week, he's going back this week for another scan. And hopefully we'll get good results around that. And he, he will hopefully be back sooner rather than later. In terms of luck this weekend, um, I would assume uh, David Mason would probably play an important part. Um, is Jadie Schickeling, um, is he, has, has he left you guys? And, and just who else uh, are in the mix? Steve, I might as well give you the team, mate. Yeah. <laughs> we announced him on Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, look, mayhazen has been training. Uh, you know, he played some good games in during the Rainbow Cup, so he will be available. Uh, JD Sickling is still out with injury. Uh, he hasn't left us. I think he leaves in October, if I'm correct. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not available this weekend. So that's one position, like I mentioned earlier, you know, we've got JD, uh, Salman, uh, and, uh, and uh, Marvin, who are not here. So that's one position where we, we've had to dig deep and bring in some players. We've got a few youngsters who are also with the um, baby box, uh, Dylan Deleu, Simon Miller. So it, it has been quite tight to sort of, you know, find um, good replacements there. But so, yeah, those... David Mason is available and, and JD is still out with injury. Probably see him in the next couple of weeks. Is Troki available for you guys? Yeah, I think Troki is, is he's available. Troki was was um, ill last week. He probably still has one, you know, other test to do. He was he was a bit sick last week. Doc will check him out tomorrow and we'll make a call then. But you know, I think it probably will be available. Any other questions? Um, Mikey, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, we can. You're pretty so, faint, but you can go for it, Adnan. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just driving. Um, it's on speaker. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask Rito, uh, as a Rito, um, you mentioned earlier about the, the youngsters in the Varsity Cup, uh, a guy like Sisley. Um, do you think this weekend somebody or someone will put up their hand in your opinion and uh, surprise a lot of people um, because some sometimes you there are guys that just need that opportunity and on the, on the bigger stage and, and we, saw, we saw that happen to like a guy like us or young kids do you think that this it could possibly be somebody like that yeah i think that's that's always um the driving factor at none, you know, if, if you get an opportunity, it's like the coaches have opened the door for you. And now it's your responsibility to take that opportunity and run with it. And I think that's always in the player's mind that, you know, there's a jersey, you take it and make it yours. You know, that's, that's the best we can do. We coach you and then we select you. So I'm looking forward. We, we're all looking forward to you know, the guys that are getting the opportunity to put their hands up and, and challenge strongly to be a regulars in the team, especially while the spring walks are away. So I, I'm pretty certain that, you know, these guys are hungry to take the, the opportunity and, and, and put their hand up and, and run with the jersey. Cool, thank you. Sure, Adnan, you happy with that? Cool. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Right, guys, we're done.